DMT does have gifts for humanity, and I and and they don't come from the the actual drug, but the fact that it, I believe that it opens up portals to other dimensions with other higher intelligences that are willing to share um, their their knowledge of. I don't know because no one's been out there long enough to be able to bring enough back. But it's not, DMT is not for recreational purposes. I don't think any drugs, anytime you use a drug for recreational purposes, it's bordering on um, creating a very unhealthy situation. I, I can't say that any of my DMT experiences were fun, except maybe the, the clowns in Las Vegas. They were funny. But <clears throat> that was kind of the exception. It's very difficult. I think a person has to be very well prepared uh, to accept that they, they're likely not to have a very good time. It, they may learn a lot, but it may not be an easy learning. It's difficult. It's hard to come back into your body. It's hard to be blasted out of your body. It's terrifying to have no sense of time, to wonder, am I ever going to even be able to find my way back? Have I been out here for a thousand years? Will the world be the same when I get back? Um, if I can even find my way? I think that DMT could should only be used by people in a setting where they have been screened emotionally, physically, to be able to, much as what happened with the study. And then, even then, sometimes there were people like my husband whose blood pressure just, you know, went off the charts. But people should have a, a, a very firm idea that this is not the shortcut to enlightenment. If there are people that are hoping to take DMT for their own personal gain, like I'm going to be the guru or I'm going to get some kind of exceptional knowledge out of this for me, those are not the people that should be taking DMT. This is not a, a recreational drug. This is not something fun. This is, it's a gift and it, must be treated with the absolute ultimate respect.